told you all it takes is one set of cans. Let's zoom in on this guy. It looks like a Eureka. Don't quote me on that one here, but it's kind of like a... That might be a steam mop or just kind of a simple pickup vacuum. It's looking great there. Nice. Corded. Now, before we do dive into a major haul today, we had some good action. Let's take a quick pause for today's sponsor, which is gonna be a really fun game. It's called June's Journey. It's set in the 1920s and it's a mystery clue games. So you find objects in these settings to receive clues to solve this mystery. And as the levels progress, it gets a little bit harder. I did notice that they do use the names of objects, obviously in the 1920s, because that's the setting of the game. So some of the names are challenging. And if you like those games when you were a kid trying to find objects in a scene, then you're definitely gonna like this as well. This is a free game to download for Apple or Droid. So if you guys wanna sit back, relax, enjoy some good gaming, then I believe you guys will enjoy June's Journey. Again, it is free to download. So again, thank you to today's sponsor. Again, look for that link in the description box below, guys. Download the game, enjoy it. Now let's get back to some great diving. Well, Ladies and gentlemen, today is a fantastic, fantastic day. You're like, Chris, why is it so fantastic? Number one, we are out and about picking. And I almost forgot what picking feels like because it's been such a long time. We were again in Colorado. Now we are back in California. Great trip visiting the family. For you new subscribers, my entire family now lives out there full time. And out there was garage sale season. You're like, Chris, garage sale season. Garage sale season is hot out there. Check out the last couple videos. We found some great pickups. A lot of wealthier families that live in these communities, golf course community that I actually have my eye on to buy a home. Colorado, there's some certain areas great investment opportunity. Anyway, we are back in California. Super pumped to be picking. God willing, we will find some good stuff and share it with you. Well, folks, when you're a picker, you always got to know where your bathrooms are. So let's head on inside. Well, you know what I'm saying? Some days you can't be too uh, picky. Okay, there's a dude right here. Hold on. Let's go ahead and zoom this shot in one more time. That's a nice couch. Or I should see seat. That's a seat. That's a chair. A lot of furniture. Let's go ahead and cruise on over here. And I mean, when a lot of furniture i'm talking about sorry the sun is right there all right there's something on the other side that's a nice box spring right there let's cruise on over the other side here hold on there's a man and woman storage rack right there i'm gonna go ahead and flip it around here i need to get the uh, the shots the shots <laughs> now a maintenance guy is rolling up on me but he's going in his workshop so hold on one second i'm just gonna hold it right here nice futon right there and then if you guys miss that let's hit it back again that was a metal storage rack you know with the wood shelving the really nice kind of home depot uh type of ones there uh unfortunately it looks like just one of the brackets was a little bit dropped down, but that should be easily just hang it back up. All right, I'm looking down the pipe here. Doesn't look like anything right there. But that futon looked really nice as I was doubling back for a double look on it. Here we go right here. Look at these couches and love seat. Told you all it takes is one set of cans. Ooh, nice corduroy. Very nice. Okay, what else we got here? Hold on. Whoa, a lot of action. Little futon here. It looks like a ab thing. Hold on. I'm going to go ahead and go on inside because there looked like there was a bag of men's shoes, possibly clothes as well. Let's go check it out. Well, folks, that was some good action. Oh, oh, they're putting more stuff. <laughs> it looked like some sort of iron work or something, so I'm definitely intrigued. I will either quickly head right back or I'm gonna be over here tomorrow as well. I don't believe that was Ikea. I believe that was like Target or potentially Walmart. We have another uh, right here, one of those clothes drying racks. Those are actually very nice. 
I don't think my parents need one, you know, where you hang your coats to dry out in uh, the garage. Pulling up a little bit, we have ourselves a banker's box, some sort of mattress, nothing in the banker's box, anything in that Home Depot box. No, it just looks like trash. I think we have some good organization going. Tomorrow should be cracking really hot. Anyway, nice guitar we saw as well, not to mention some nice shoes, eight and a halfs. So guys, that was actually a really beautiful wooden table. Just a gorgeous big one there. Look at that. And a very nice sealable dog food canister. That's probably a $20, $20 plastic thing, maybe $25. Uh, that was a great little score right there. Uh, I don't have any pets and I don't know anybody that uh, would need one that large. Pretty sure Uncle Phil already has some for his dogs. Maybe should have grabbed that, but there's so many people in this complex that do have pets, someone's gonna grab that by this evening, almost guaranteed. Now I did see something down here that I do wanna film because I already passed it. I wanna check out a couple stools and an Ikea lamp it looks like. There were some neighbors gathering and having a conversation, didn't wanna disturb them. Well, let's go ahead and pull up now. It's in this aisleway here. Let me go ahead and get a little sneaky real quick first. Yep, right through here, and there's actually people around the corner already. Well, as I was wrapping around the corner, there was a couple in their car, and he was staring right at me, kind of giving me a weird look. So um, I was like, eh, let's just go ahead and move on. He might have just been staring at me to stare at me, but uh, it wasn't a very friendly look for some reason. It was two stools, an Ikea lamp, and a mattress. There we go, little organization piece right there. Very nice little step up bookshelf or something. Kind of looked to be like some granola bars on the half wall as well. Here we got ourselves an Ikea <laughs> bed slat. And there's already something on the ground over here. So let's go ahead and roll on over here. There's a parking spot right here if I need to grab it. Let's go ahead and tuck in the shade real quick. All right, looks like a bunch of pots and pans. We'll go ahead and skip out on that one. Uh, we got ourselves some cooking pots tops and pans. To be honest with you, I already have all I need and more, so we'll go ahead and let another diver grab that. Beautiful goal now, right now. All right, guys, great little score right there. We grabbed that, uh, it's upside down right now. That's a Honeywell, what looks to be either a cash safe, but it's padded in there, almost like it's meant for a gun safe or just, you know, maybe some padded valuables like watches or something like that. Anyway, no key, but it is combination, which is battery powered. So we'll just figure out how to reset that, set a new combination. It's nice that it is open. And then next to it, I believe was a small tripod or a music stand, and I am completely set on tripods, so we'll let another diver grab that. And let's go ahead and proceed forward. That was a great score. I could put that in my James Bond room, you know, like have a little special code for my airsoft pistol, Pistola. A lot of furniture in here real quick. I just want to get this on film. We got beds, mattresses, Ikea slats, all sorts of stuff in there. Kind of a shame it was all behind the half wall too, which makes it a lot harder for another picker to grab all that good stuff. Anywho, let's proceed forward. Let's see if anything's hidden behind. Here comes somebody. Hold on one second. No, nothing behind my secret wall that someone tucks. They always tuck it in behind the half wall or I should say the side wall so you can't really see it unless you know where to look. And I am noticing the parking lots are a lot emptier. Either people are just loving the freedom of getting out of their house, but I am noticing that the parking lots are definitely thin with people that are parked here. There was a dad with his two girls right there, but there was two office chairs right there in that walkway. I don't know the exact condition. 
We might have to double back for those, which I think I'm going to. Okay, another bookshelf there. All right, this is kind of a bad shot, but they're not as nice as I thought they were gonna be. One's pretty beat up, but the other one seems like it's okay there. There's the bookshelf. I'd go in for closer looks, but it seems like everyone got the same memo at the same time. Hey, why don't we all come outside and play with our kids? And you just don't want to be like doing a lot of filming when there's kids around. That's just not good for business. It doesn't look good for business. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon.